guys, my name is Anthony, this is Crypto Free. Today I'm going to be showing you guys updates on Chainlink, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. I have not done updates on Chainlink in a long time. I have loaded up this chart from a long time ago. You guys probably, some of my old subscribers might have seen me a long, remember this chart from a long time ago. I haven't used it, I just took it out of my old basement and now i'm going to be showing you guys something that can prove that chain link could be going up right now in the short term and mid term and in the old term and long term in the long term it should be going down but in the ultra long term it should go even higher so also ethereum and bitcoin are doing something interesting ethereum is actually breaking it's starting oh it's practically at its all-time highs you guys can see right here and so it's all time highs right here. And so it's breaking out of this triangle and it should be going up to this price target right here. And since Ethereum is a big indicator for Bitcoin, then Bitcoin could be doing something else. And also if Bitcoin passes this level, then I think all practically all the bearish scenarios are invalidated. Are um sorry, are invalidated. So if this happens, then we should be going up. We should be going up somewhere to this level, which is, by the way, $50,000. So, yeah, that's where we're going to go. So this is the big gigantic price target that we're going to go if we break up here. But of course, Chainlink could be falling. Ethereum has some bad news. And Bitcoin, if it breaks this trend line right here, it is going for the bad. So, I'm going to be explaining you guys all that and more in this video, so let's get into the video. So guys, we're going to be starting off at Chainlink. So, Chainlink is actually doing something cool. It's doing something called the Hidden Bullish Divergence. That's cool. That's right. Look at this. If you guys look at this chart, there's the bearish divergences on this side and the bullish divergences on this side. So guys, look, this is the price of Bitcoin on top. And this, or actually it can be anything, but this is the price of the stock or crypto or altcoin or bitcoin or whatever it is. And this is the indicator. Personally, I use the RSI, but you can also use stochastic RSI, MACD, and a couple other things. So, in the bullish divergences, that's what I think it is right now. They, like, the, the price that you look at, the trend line is always on the bottom. It's a lower, it's a lower one. And here it's always a higher either high yeah it's always a higher high or in the hidden one is a higher low and in the exaggerated one is just straight it's just straight high it's a double top basically so here it's a lower high or higher uh, lower low and that's basically what it is so we're not doing a hit a regular bullish divergence because um if you guys look at uh, look at right here you guys can see that in a regular bullish divergence the price actually goes down and the r side goes up and so here the price goes up and the RSI goes down. Okay. Now actually let's go to four hour time frame because that's where we're supposed to show it. And I was showing you guys on the one hour time frame. But that leaves us with exaggerated and hidden. Clearly exaggerated is just a straight line here. So that's not what it's supposed to be. So it's this one because the price goes up and the RSI goes down. So here the price goes up and the RSI goes down. That's Okay, so this is a hidden bullish divergence. That's bullish. And also the scastic RSI is actually turning to blow on top. So we should be going up. Some bad news is that on the weekly time frame, it is really high. It is breaking its all-time high, by the way. It went all the way to like 77, which is a good sell. Scastic RSI is not yet on red on top, but it's just churning there. It's really high. So I'm not saying that it will. I'm just saying it should, you know. Because it's been going up pretty far. And they're saying it should be doing that. Because one, this is an Elliott wave. And by the way, this first and second wave, I predicted. So like, this first wave and second wave, I predicted. Of course, I did the third wave and fourth wave, fifth wave by myself. But back to the topic. If, let's just say we're topping out right now, we could go from here to, let's just say, to where we are right now. Actually, we're supposed to go from here. So... The 0.618 level would be at 13.5, but of course there's a golden pocket, which means it could be 16, I mean 15 and a half to 13 and a half. So that's the ratio. If let's just say we're topping out right now, because we did see this week a dump. We've been following this week. 
but it looks like we could be going up. So this is something bullish on Chainlink. But something major is happening between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's look at Bitcoin first. So guys, you have you probably heard me talking about a head and shoulders pattern. And if Bitcoin goes above this level, it will be invalidated. So this level is 30 38,600 38,300 depends when we come out. Let's just say 13,300. So, if we go higher than 38,300, which is this triangle, one we will break out of this triangle and two we will actually invalidate this um like head and shoulders pattern. If we break up above this, we are going to um, invalidate another head and shoulders right here. This is a smaller one, but this is we're going to invalidate it if we break this level. So let me start putting out lines. If we break this level, we're going to break the the biggest one. And let's just put another line up. If we break this line, we're going to actually invalidate this smaller one. And also, if we go to the smaller time frame, you guys can see that there is a smaller, even smaller um, head and shoulders pattern right here. It's really tiny, but it's still technically a head and shoulders. And that's the head and shoulders right there. Yeah, it's pretty small. You could count this head and shoulders, but that's not really head and shoulders because it is, of course, too, like, not, it's not that good because this is actually practically coming to the same type top. But look at this. If this head and shoulders is playing out, which probably already did, it's already filled. So that means this head and shoulders is filled, okay? But look at this. Let's go back to the four hour time frame. There's some major news happening on Bitcoin. Because look, if Bitcoin breaks this, we're in the safe zone, okay? But if Bitcoin breaks this trend line right here, this could be actually signaling the start of a correction. Because look at this. The stock to flow model, of course, it had this dip. And you guys can see the dip. It's clearly there. But what is the dip? It is this dip right here. It was 28%. Which, by the way, let me um, let me turn it on. 28.5%. It was clearly not enough by 1.5% to meet my satisfaction. Like It could have at least come down $700 more and it would be good. It came down. To thirty thousand, and it had to come down to twenty nine thousand three hundred, and it clearly didn't want to come that extra seven hundred dollars. But I, I'm making myself think that's okay. But something tells me we might actually come down and fall the rest of the thirty percent. Because if we fall thirty percent, whoops, and that's not how we're supposed to tap it. Uh, if we fall thirty percent, we have to fall down to that level 29,300 so if we break this trend line there's a really strong chance that we're going to fall there and you know what confirms it the stochastic rsi not the rsi because it's not really doing anything on the four hour time frame but on the four hour time frame the stochastic rsi is really high so on the daily time frame it's really low so we should be going up so this is pretty confusing so if we break this trend line I'm not saying we're gonna fall the way down to here. I'm saying we're gonna ha we're gonna fall. So where are we gonna fall to? We're probably gonna fall down to test this big trend line. But since because look at this, this big gigantic trend line, we tapped it already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is gonna be the ninth time we tap it if we break this trend line. And you know, every time we tap it, there's a bigger chance for us to break it. So this is gonna be the ninth time we tap it. And if we break this, there's gonna be a gigantic correction. So if we break this trend line, not this one, we're gonna actually have a big correction. So this trend line is only gonna make us get started and we're gonna fall down to here. But we are in this triangle, and this is a neutral triangle. And look at this. Ever since Bitcoin was going up, it was in this, in these triangles. Mostly neutral, sometimes it was ascending, but they always tapped um, this trend line. That's what they were made out of. So, you can see that if we're going to break out of this, which, by the way, since neutral triangles are like 50% to the upside, but 50% to the downside, you may think that they're neutral, so you can't really know where it's going to go up or down. But in a 
in like a bullish trend, they're more to the upside. That's why we've been going up in all of these. So, um, if we break this, like I said, we're gonna get all the bearish stuff away, and if we, and that's also gonna be the place where we're gonna actually break this triangle. And if we break this triangle, we're gonna go to fifty thousand dollars because it, how you check the price is like this. You get it from the top of here to the bottom of the triangle, and then you just put on top of the point of the breakout. So what we're doing right now, we looks like looks like look at this at the minute time for, on the minute time frame, yeah. On the minute time frame, it looks like we practically confirmed it, but not quite yet. So if we confirm this level, which I mean it kind of did, but not really. When it confirms this level, if it does, we could be going up. But right now, we're not going to be talking about that. So we are confirming this level by the looks of it. And so if we are going to confirm this level, because keep watching this level, by the way, if we break this level, which is 36,300, we're going down to test this line. And that's going to be like a, a pretty significant dump. It's pretty actually going to be pretty good. It's going to be like a 3.5% dump. That's pretty good. But if it confirms, which right now it looks like it could be doing, but not really, I think it should. I think it's going down, yeah clearly somehow going down and if it's confirmed support and it goes up down up to here that's going to be a five percent rise and of course like i said these two big lines right here if it confirms support i mean if it goes above these two lines then th all this bearishness will go away because all of these head and shoulders will actually go away because this is like a head and shoulders inside a head and shoulders inside a head and shoulders because there's a head and shoulder another head and shoulders Oh, I forgot to to show you guys one more head and shoulders. Like I said, um, there's the big head and shoulders right here. And then there's like a head and shoulders right here. But if you go into this last one again, there's just another head and shoulders like this. So that's another head and shoulders. So if we um, break this level, we're going to want to invalidate this head and shoulders. We're going to invalidate this head and shoulders. But we're also, but if we break this level, we're going to validate this head and shoulders. So, all that matters is time because we're right now going to get this big squeeze. So, because look at this, we are in. We're going to tap this line right here. If we break this line, we're going to fall down. We're going to have we're going to fall about 3.5% down to 34,700. If we confirm support, we're going to go up to here. And if we break this line, because since this is not only like a big price that I'm talking about, this is also a big resistance. If we break this level, most of the bearishness goes away. But of course, the stochastic sign, the RSI, are showing that we could be falling on the four-hour time frame. But in the daily time frame, which is a pretty big time frame, showing that we could go up. But in the weekly time frame, which is the really long term, it looks like we're gonna go up. And on the this time frame, time frame too. But by the way, I want to show you guys something. Um, on the weekly time frame, and then on the monthly, there's another buy signal, which is interesting. There's another buy signal that happened like a month ago. And so far, that means that there has been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buy signals in history. That's really interesting. In the Bitcoin, whole Bitcoin history, there's only been seven buy signals. But looks like in the long term in the ultra long term we should go up and that i agree with the stock to flow model we should be going up and this is also i think no no no. there's no there's no bullish no bearish divergence there's no really divergence so that agree with each other so the only thing that we should look at guys right now is make sure bitcoin does not break below thirty six thousand dollars and if it breaks higher than $37,949, $38,000, if it breaks higher than that, then practically all the bearishness is gone. And I think it will do that. You know why? Because if we go to the Ethereum time frame, Ethereum is also having this triangle, but it already broke out of it. And you know that Ethereum is actually a leading indicator for Bitcoin. It leads by like a day. So looks like Bitcoin right here could be... Like, there's still a chance that we could break this line right here. So, look, we could c break this line right here, go for support, and then go up. If we do that, that's still bullish. And if we break this triangle, which by the looks of it, we could because Ethereum follow is like the indicator, leading indicator for Bitcoin. So, if we break this line, we could go up. What is concerning is that Ethereum is getting rejected 
by this line. It's a really big level. You know why? Because look at this. If we go on the VPVR, there is nothing higher than this level. So if we break this level, it's thin air, what I call it. Airplanes cannot fly in thin air. If we go into this thin air, you have to be a rocket. And you know what rockets do? They fly to the moon. So if we break this level, there's a really big chance that we're going to actually go up to all-time highs and maybe even break it. Because look at this. We're breaking out of this triangle already. And this triangle takes us to $1,670. And so if this price target is correct, Ethereum is going to be in all-time highs. And I was just waiting for this moment for a long time. But... I really hope that Ethereum will break this line because if it gets rejected, then Bitcoin might be doing the same thing. So look at this. If it, get re if it gets rejected, Bitcoin could do this. <clears throat> Sorry. If, it gets if Ethereum gets rejected off this price, then Bitcoin could do the same. It could come up to this level, to this level right here, 41,900, the current all-time high, and then it could get rejected. And if that happens... This could be a double top, and double tops are bearish, you guys know that. So, if we do that, then that's going to be something bearish. So, even though we're going to take all the bearishness away right here, if we break these levels, 37,800 and 38,400, we could do something else bearish if we confirm the resistance up there, because we could be doing a double top, and that's pretty bearish. So, right now, it all matters on Ethereum for Bitcoin to go up, since... But Ethereum already went up and it actually like proves that Bitcoin should go up since it's like the leading indicator. I think Bitcoin will go up. Of course, if it breaks this level, guys, you should watch Bitcoin to fall and make sure it does not fall below this level. That's going to be like the most important level to watch if we break this. So that's what's going to happen right now. So all we're watching is Ethereum right now and making sure that Ethereum breaks this level. By the way, this level is the... $1,349 level. If it breaks this level, it should be going up and it should take Bitcoin with it. So, summary of this video. Chainlink is doing this five-wave move. It could be topping out right now. I'm not saying it will drop, but it could be dropping soon. In the smaller time frame, the mid-term and the tiny term or the small term, it looks like it could be doing a hidden bullish divergence and it could be going up. It probably will. Ethereum is looking like it could be getting rejected off here, but at the same time, it looks like it's breaking out of this neutral triangle to the upside that will take it to $1,670, breaking its all-time high, making it go to the moon like a rocket. If Will it take Bitcoin with it, or will Bitcoin fall? Because look at this. Bitcoin is also in this neutral triangle, but it's actually behind Ethereum. If Ethereum is actually a leading indicator, it will take bitcoin will it to go up and if it gets if it breaks this level it goes above 36,861 then most of the stuff is gone and if it confirms by breaking this level 30 38,500 then all the bearishness is gone of course if we come to our current all-time high 14 41,961 and get rejected that could be a a double top both on Bitcoin and on Ethereum if Ethereum falls right now that could be a bearish scenario so yeah this is what to watch for and of course if Bitcoin breaks below this trend right here which is 36,300 make sure you watch for Bitcoin to f not fall below this trend because if it falls below this trend we could be seeing a big correction more than 38 28 percent so if we fall below this level i'm saying we could fall down to like 29,300, and nobody wants that since they're everybody's into bitcoin everybody is into bitcoin probably and you don't want bitcoin to fall i want bitcoin to keep going everybody wants bitcoin to keep going so watch make sure it does not break below 34,000. $900. So, also, one more thing. Thank you, Altcoin Daily, for shouting me out in your live stream. I know I was watching that. And thank you for all the subscribers, for everybody who subscribed to me, because you actually are helping out a lot. Look how much subscribers I am already having. And you can see 850 subscribers. I wonder how much subscribers I'll have by tomorrow so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to click that post notification bell i'll see you guys next video bye